doing this vigorous exercise is important, but it has to be like a longer interval type of exercise. You know, at least one minute, that would be sort of the minimum, but like better if you can get to four minutes. Meet Dr. Rhonda Patrick, a groundbreaking scientist who's figuring out how to live better and longer. Ever thought there might be a way to boost your health and feel younger, backed by science? Well, Dr. Patrick is here with the answers. She earned her PhD in biomedical science from the University of Tennessee and performed her graduate research work at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. With Found My Fitness and her podcast full of health tips, Dr. Patrick is making it easy for everyone to understand how to live a long, healthy life. When asked about her own definition, she said, Our bodies are incredibly complex and interconnected, so it's important to take a holistic approach to health. Our genes are not our destiny. They are influenced by our environment and lifestyle choices. The science of epigenetics shows us that our environment and lifestyle choices can have a profound impact on our gene expression. I'll guide you through the choices I made to lead a healthier life. In this video, we'll be diving deep into the details of living a healthy life, Patrick style. Stay with us as we continue to talk about five foods she eats for longevity, three foods she avoids for longevity, her three exercise rules. Five foods Dr. Patrick eats. Number one, wild Alaskan salmon. Dr. Patrick explained that wild salmon is very high in EPA and DHA, the omega-3 fatty acids strongly linked with improved brain functioning, cardiovascular health, and reduced inflammation in the body. If you're going to eat animal products, fish, and in particular wild salmon, should be at the top of your list. A study from Harvard attributed around 84,000 deaths a year for not getting enough omega-3s, she explains. But before we get into Dr. Rhonda's second food, we have fantastic news for you. We're thrilled to announce that our highly requested ebook, 8-Minute Fitness at 50 Plus, is finally here. This comprehensive fitness guide is specially curated for individuals over the age of 50 who are committed to leading a healthy and active lifestyle. Packed with expert advice and tailored workouts, it's your key to a vibrant and active life. Click the link in the description or in the comments to grab your copy now, and let's start this incredible fitness journey together. Now, let's shift the focus back on Dr. Rhonda's second food she eats for longevity. Number two, dark leafy greens. Dark leafy greens are the next superfood Dr. Patrick recommends because they are loaded with vitamins and minerals that are hard to get from other foods. Leafy greens are rich in vitamin A, B, C, E, and K, and contain an abundance of antioxidants, fiber, iron, magnesium, folate, potassium, and calcium. 56% of the U.S. population is deficient in magnesium. That's because magnesium is found in dark leafy vegetables or in some nuts like almonds. If you're not eating vegetables on a daily basis, you probably have inadequate levels of magnesium, which can translate into dire health consequences. As you cannot repair damaged DNA, it may lead to cancer. With every 100 milligrams of magnesium intake, there was a 24% decrease in pancreatic cancer. She further adds that if she had to choose just one dark leafy green to eat, she'd recommend sautéed kale. One reason why I like kale a lot is because it's one of the vegetables that is highest in lutein and zeaxanthin. Number three, coffee. Nobody tells you to let go of your coffee from now on. Interestingly, this expert believes that coffee is associated with an increase in mortality rate. Patrick explains that drinking two to three cups of coffee a day is linked with a longer lifespan and lower risk of cardiovascular disease compared with avoiding coffee and she's not bluffing. She backed her statement by stating these facts. I may have another reason to love my morning cup of coffee. A very recent randomized control trial found consumption of dark roast coffee brew, 500 milliliters a day, for one month caused a 23% reduction in DNA damage in white blood cells compared to baseline levels. DNA damage can accelerate the aging process and lead to cancer. Number four, avocado. Avocado is the fourth food on Dr. Patrick's daily list. Avocados are abundant with healthy monounsaturated fat, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. In fact, they even have more potassium than bananas. Avocados are really high in potassium, 
and provide all the various forms of vitamin E. They are a great source of monounsaturated fat. Number five, blueberries. Blueberries round out Dr. Patrick's top five list. Another brain food, Rhonda says that blueberries have numerous proven health benefits and are the king of all antioxidant foods. They contain high amounts of fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, and many other nutrients. Blueberries make you smarter. One cup improves memory, cognition, processing speed, and executive function. Dr. Patrick loves to combine avocado and blueberries in her daily smoothie, which is a great way to check off multiple foods on her list. My go-to? A smoothie that I make several times a week, loaded with two cups of blueberries, a good handful of dark leafy greens, and a chunk of avocado. Three foods Dr. Patrick avoids for longevity. Number one, processed meats. In a recent Instagram video, Dr. Patrick explained that we need to eliminate nitrites from our diet to reduce the risk of cancer. Nitrites are preservatives added to processed meats like bacon, sausages, lunch meats, and hot dogs, and are seen to be associated with cancer. It's time to get rid of nitrites in processed meats. Several observational studies have linked an increased risk of cancer, particularly colon cancer, with the consumption of processed meats, which have been classified as a group 1 carcinogen. Number 2. Bananas Don't judge too soon. Dr. Patrick isn't telling you to get rid of bananas completely, but she rather explains to be mindful of the food combinations you have while including bananas. I stopped adding bananas, and now I have to avoid it because turns out bananas have a special enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, which actually degrades polyphenols, so it's counter to add bananas to a blueberry smoothie. Number three, alcohol. The third thing Dr. Patrick asks to eliminate from your diet is alcohol consumption. Because people might be addicted to drinking every day, a good coping mechanism she suggests is switching to exercise instead. For women, moderate drinking is like three drinks a day or something like that. It's a lot. And that literally translates to a lifetime risk of breast cancer of one in six or something like that. Rhonda Patrick's three exercise rules. Number one, aerobic exercise. Rhonda calls aerobic exercise her probiotic, mainly because she enjoys it. She also believes that aerobic exercise increases the growth of new neurons in the brain by twofold and completely reverses the structural changes that occur in the brain with aging. Aerobic exercise may be one of the most effective ways to promote gut health and help heal intestinal issues. It increases butyrate-producing gut bacteria independent of diet. This reduces inflammation and promotes intestinal healing. Usually, I go for about a three-mile run about three times a week. I'm not really an endurance athlete, clearly, but I do enjoy it for the cognitive boost it gives me. Number two, high intensity training. Patrick includes high intensity training three times a week. I do a lot of high intensity interval Tabatas on the stationary bike. I use Peloton because I just like that instructor there telling me what to do and then me competing with everyone else. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and it's 10 minutes, so it works for me. Sometimes Rhonda likes to include squat jumps, depending on her mood. She explains that high-intensity training has been shown to improve learning and memory, and when done for 8 to 20 minutes, it increases the production of the neurotransmitters glutamate by 5% and GABA by 7%, as well as norepinephrine, a catecholamine involved in attention and focus. Number 3. Weightlifting Some days are dedicated to weightlifting, because Dr. Patrick understands the importance of working on muscle strength. She emphasizes to include weightlifting into your routine because of the amazing benefits it gives to your body, especially in the aging process. I also lift weights and do lunges and squats with weights, either two or three times per week. It's really important to maintain muscle mass, she adds. The biggest benefit of VO2 max improvements is people going from low to low normal. That's associated with about a 2.1 year increase in life expectancy. Going from a low to a high normal is about a three year increase in life expectancy. If you found this information helpful and are looking to take control of your health, we have an exciting opportunity for you. We invite you to join our channel membership to deepen your commitment to a healthy lifestyle. Become part of our 50 plus community by clicking the join button on our channel 
and gain access to exclusive perks through our channel membership. Thanks for watching!